I we should be live. Good morning, everyone. Let me just make sure everything is good. Yeah, everything looks good. Morning, everyone. Let's see. So we had news drop around 12 minutes ago and we shot up quite a bit. And let's hope we can get a retracement back down to hopefully a valid demand zone. I haven't even looked at the charts really. I literally just got back from school and let's see if we can try and catch something. Hmm. NAS has got a valid demand down at the bottom, but uh, it looks okay. I'm gonna mark that up right down here. And the odds of us even getting back down there on NAS, especially. Um, we had a really nice break of structure, though. We broke multiple highs on NAS. How, uh, what? How are you doing, Andreas? I'm doing good in you. I'm doing good in you, Kevin. Yeah, NAS, NAS had a really nice break of structure. Like, we broke above all of these highs here. We broke these highs up here. We broke this high, this high, and this high. So, we broke above a lot of structure. So, let's hope we can get a retracement back down into maybe this demand. I think it should have 15 minute. Yeah, it's a 15 minute demand as well. Uh, it looks like that is also a one hour demand. Check the four hour. Four hour also has this big gap here that needs to be filled. So honestly, we, we just gotta wait and see if it comes back down. Rate your trading psychology on a scale of one to 10. My trading psychology, I'd rate it. Mm, I'd rate it probably like an eight at the moment because you know, I, I, I can handle all the losses I take, especially like the losses that we've been going through with, with supply and demand recently. You know, I, I've been I've been pretty chill about it. It is what it is. And especially with all the drawdown that I'm in, I, I, it is what it is. US 30 has the same thing as, as NAS with the demand. I do prefer NAS's demand though, 100%. Let's see if this has 15 minute. Yeah, it's got 15 minute and it's just uh, it's just a 15 minute and a five minute on US 30. And GU has also got something there, but I think that looks pretty ugly. So we honestly just got to sit and wait now. Or today might just be a no trade day with with everything with, with this big ass big ass bullish move I just think we might even get a no trade day. That's if nothing comes back. Yeah, GU and, and GJ definitely look the worst. I think, I think GU, let me zoom in. No, not sure. I thought, I thought GU was maybe in like a support of, of this high here, but it hasn't really tapped. I guess it depends how you draw it, but it does not look like it's really tapped. GJ, GJ doing absolutely nothing. Hit 30 pips on GJ this morning, bro. Good shit, bro. Good shit, Joe. Good shit. 30 pips, crazy. Um, well, while I was in school, I did see there was a GU setup playing out that um a few people took. Actually, I don't know about a few people, but I know one or two people took this in the Discord this morning. 
like earlier before news but i was in school so i was like uh, i don't like taking setups in school and this isn't like the best setup like there was a breaker structure very minor breaker structure a little pullback you could have gotten that breaker candle and then took that for like a one-to-one -one before news but yeah I, I didn't look at taking that at all i just left it and i said i'll rather wait till after news but it doesn't look like much is happening now definitely need to be patient today I'm pretty sure even even tuesday we waited pretty late yeah we waited until about stock exchange open for a setup so today we're probably gonna have to wait a while again Maybe we create, I'm looking, thinking maybe we create like a demand on, on GJ, like GJ's not doing much. There's a bunch of gaps above here. So this, if this candle closes bullish and above like that previous candle and then breaks this high here, or even the next candle can break that high, we could create like a demand there. I'd be pretty happy to take that. Maybe even on, on GU. Maybe GU pushes above, breaks this high, and then this candle here is the demand, but that is quite big. So I'd probably prefer GJ to do it, yeah. But if GJ just closes bullish and breaks above this high, and we get a pullback into the zone, that would be pretty clean. Because everything looks pretty bullish at the moment. Well, Na NAS has actually been consolidating for a while. I was looking at this, like, I think it was two days ago. NAS has been consolidating for a while. Since when? I'd say around about since here. Since, what is that? The beginning of this month? The 5th of April? No. Yeah, the 5th of April. No way, I'm tripping. No, it's, NAS has been consolidating for a month. I'm tripping. <laughs> NAS has been consolidating for a month. Yeah, this, this is a month right here. On the four hour, NASA just being up and down. There's no real direction, really. Also, on the one hour, yeah, same thing on the one hour, just being going up and down, up and down. So, we definitely got to see and, and wait until until NAS does something. I think, I think we might come and fall in this big gap here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but let's, let's zoom in. Let's do, let's do this. Um, no, that's not it. No. Okay, yeah. yeah. I think we're gonna come forward in this big gap. Like, we have a huge gap. When we, this, this was NFP, I'm pretty sure. This, this was NFP news, so... Probably gonna have to come eventually to fall in that gap. Good morning, bro. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Brian. Did anyone trade yesterday? Anyone traded Wednesday? I actually, I didn't even look what happened that on Wednesday. What happened yesterday? I'm gonna go back real quick and I just wanna see if there was any good setups that hit yesterday. Hold up, the big drop here, this was on CPI news, this was yesterday. NFP was a while back actually. Yeah, so this big drop here, this was yesterday. And that was CPI news. 
And then today we had PPI news, which pushed up quite a bit, but did not do as much damage as, as CPI did. But I'm just, trying to try, I'm just trying to see Wednesday. Did we have anything good during New York session? I think I think CPI news ruined yesterday as well. I did trade on my live account. Made 300. Damn. Damn, damn. On E, on E, U, U CPI news. Damn. Trade news is, is crazy. Okay, I do. I think I, I think I do see a setup. It was it was on NAS that was valid yesterday. Let's zoom in. Let's see if we can do it here. Um, this here. Okay. Okay, is it gonna work? No, this looks hideous. Okay, I'm 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 gonna just pull it up on on trading view. That, that would that would work the best. Let's see if we can do this. It was actually a pretty solid setup yesterday. Let's just take all those other pairs off. I feel like th this this was pretty solid on, on NAS right before news. We had a break of structure, pull back into the zone. This, this was like half an hour before news, so that's pretty solid. You could have taken that on NAS yesterday. Let's see. GU, there was nothing. Let's see. GJ. Did anything happen yesterday? Nah, I think yeah, news, news ruined yesterday as well. US 30. Damn, this drop was huge. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I don't see anything. So the only setup really yesterday was, was US 30. And now we need to wait for something, hopefully today. Under one minute, damn. I mean, if you get the direction right, trading CPI, you can make a lot of money. I traded my 50K funded on Tuesday and hit what 1,000 pips on US 30 was, uh, was insane, 3,000 pounds. Damn. Damn, traded on Tuesday. Well, did, was there news on Tuesday? Uh, let's check Forex Factory. I don't think there was any news. No, there, there was no news on Tuesday. Thousand pips on US thirty is actually crazy. What do you think about NAS today? I think I think NAS is gonna fill in that big gap from CPI that it left. It's big gap. I don't know. Is the face cam blocking? Oh, let's move that. Let's move that for now. This. Big gap here. I think I think uh, we're gonna come fill it in today. We already filled in, what like half of it. Okay, I think I think GJ is valid now. I'm gonna I'm gonna just pull up on trading view just to see for myself. I think GJ is valid, so this could be solid. Let me just get it up real quick. Okay, we had a we had a bigger structure. It's a valid demand. Okay, if it taps in this candle, then I'm good. It looks like it's probably gonna tap this candle. I messaged you on Insta, bro, and I moved my strategy over to breakouts. Um, I don't remember, but I'll have a look now. I just wanna see, yeah, okay. GJ tapped in already. I could still take it a break a candle, but uh, I don't know if I really want to. It's got a good reaction from filling in the gap and tapping. I think it's probably going to continue up, but I don't like when my demands or supplies get tapped in like the next candle. Like I, I want this candle to have been printed and then closed and then the one after that come tap in. What platform you use? I use Quantic Trading. I have a video about why I'm using the platform I'm using. You can go check it out. It's called, um, what was the video called? I forgot.
The video is called uh, How I Passed My Challenge in Three Days. You can go watch that. I'll explain the prop film I'm using and, and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm waiting for NAS to come back on the demand level. Yeah, I'm, I'm also waiting on that. Or US30, but I prefer, I much prefer NAS. We had a very nice breaker structure. Broke multiple structures on NAS, so I definitely prefer NAS. GG probably would have been the best if it if it just didn't close or tap right after it created then we would have actually been chilling. I would have taken GG. But I don't like the way it's moving now. It mustn't it mustn't come in right after it created the demand. Today we're probably just gonna have to be patient. I'm hoping I'm hoping stock exchange open does something does something good for us. If stock exchange open does something then we're actually chilling. Remember, bro, stick with what you like and wait for it. Lol, don't repeat Tuesday. I mean, Tuesday, I took a setup that was valid, though. I, w I definitely was waiting on the, on the NAS demand. But also, once again, the NAS demand lost if you got in on the five minutes. So that was, that was also just a one-minute demand zone that ended up winning. or, or j It barely held for one-to-one, -one, the, na uh, the NAS demand. I think the setup I took on GJ was just mistimed. The market completely melted after that. But it was definitely a valid setup. That's why I don't really... It is what it is. If I lost, I lost. Tomorrow we have news again. You need to be careful about that. For, what is that? 10 a.m.? 10 a.m. news tomorrow? On USD today, nothing else except later in the day, much later in the day. GU looks like it's the one that wants to drop. I think I think GU just actually grabbed liquidity. Yeah, GU GU is throwing a liquidity grab right now as well. I definitely missed that. I probably wouldn't have taken it even if I saw that. But we grabbed those highs up to there, and now we slowly pushing down a break a candle. So GU definitely threw something. Let's see if it ends up winning though. I'm gonna quickly mark up one to one on trading view. Yeah, G, G is actually getting really close. The one to one is like right here. Right? 
We'll mock it up. Where is that? It's like around about here is one to one on GU if you take the liquidity grab. Can't these movers? Okay, I think I think around about there's one to one. Something like that. If you took if you took GU liquidity grab, good catch. I definitely missed that, but don't know if I would have taken it even if I saw it. Had, it had two really nice reactions or, or rejections from grabbing the liquidity. And we have a big news gap to fall, so definitely makes sense. But I haven't taken a liquidity grab in a minute, so I'm good on liquidity grabs. GG could react off of this demand, but it looks terrible. It's valid, but it looks terrible. I'm I'm, on, I'm even just delete that zone. That doesn't that doesn't look great at all. I think I think G is about to hit one to one. It's getting right there, getting really close. Hoping stock exchange open does something. If, if stuff is, if stock exchange open does something good, then then we'd be chilling today. <sighs> we gotta have a little bit of momentum. Yeah, I think G is about to tap one to one. Yeah, my yeah. Okay, just hit on trading view. So if anyone took G U liquidity grab. They just won. If I took that, I'd probably hold so I'd probably hold for until like this demand zone here. It doesn't look like a great demand zone, but I'd hold I'd hold that until there if I if I took that look pretty grab. I think it's like a one to three maybe. No, it's, it's like a one to two point five if you if you took G the quick grab and you hold. I actually hate trading days where there's news are literally the worst to trade. Like I swear, we just we we're just gonna sit here until something hopefully happens because it's just going up and down on all of them. Uh. Maybe we create maybe we create a demand of GJ continuing up. And zone's kinda of big. If we break like above this and then maybe continue up. That's not really a breaker structure. Mm hmm Or US thirty. US thirty could create a demand if it continues up, breaks as high, then we could end up marking our demand like that. That's if it continues up though and doesn't close back in our zone. G 
GU ran into one minute demand. Let's check GU. Oh shit, it actually did. Dang, our man is holding on that. GU is in a liquidity, in a one minute demand. I don't know if the one minute demand is going to hold that. I don't really have a lot of faith in only ha like taking one minute demands. Like I've tried to look at it, but a lot of them do end up losing, but some do hit that. There's that one minute demand. Could end up holding and we break this high up here or the five minute liquidity grab is going to end up winning. See, US3 might actually close above this high. If we do that, we actually really good. Same with GJ, but GJ would have no breaker structure. I mean, GJ has a demand right now that is pretty much reacting off of. If, if anyone looked at this, I can mark it up real quick. GJ, I think it might have actually won. If if you looked at it like this, it stops like right below one to one. This would this would have been valid pretty much if you take demands like this. Like we had a we had a minor breaker structure right there. We came in, filled the gap with the same candle, got in that breaker structure uh breaker candle. But uh, once again, I don't know. But this would be way more valid like. This is actually looking pretty good. The only thing is that we don't really have a breaker structure unless we come break this high here. And then. Um, maybe, maybe US 30, maybe US 30 might. Let's see if we close above the previous, if we close above this high here, then US 30 is valid. And then GJ is also valid, but it's just got no breaker structure. We actually, we could actually have some potential. I like GJ a lot. The only thing is that we don't have a breaker structure. Like to fill in these gaps here, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. 15 minutes, quite bullish right now. Also got gaps to fall. And then we also have this big gap to the left. Let's see, one hour. Is that what? No, it looks like it broke out of that one hour demand. This actually could look pretty good. Let's see. Same thing, US30 close above, so US30 is also valid right now, but it is quite, actually I wouldn't say it's high. It's only the news that pushed up quite a bit. You're about to kill this market, let's hope, let's hope, let's hope. We can end the losing streak. I'm actually on like a huge ass losing streak. Um, GU is actually also valid at the moment. GU's got a demand like that, but uh, I'd, I'd maybe prefer GJ. NAS, I don't know, I don't know about NAS. I took that GJ buy at 98, what, what is that, 192, 134. Oh, oh, you're talking about breaker structure of this one. Okay, I know, I know what you're talking about, though. I know what you're talking about. <clears throat> okay, let's see, maybe, maybe we get something now. Something that looks all right. We got stock exchange open in 20 minutes, but I, I, I low key thing is probably going to be a low volume stock exchange open because all the volume was during, was during the news. So let's see. I don't want GEJ to close or tap in the zone with this candle. The next candle needs to tap in. If it closes, if it taps in there, I'm just gonna delete the zone. Same with GU. Uh, let's see. NAS actually also has a demand, so I'm gonna mark up NAS demand as well. That's also pretty bad. Actually, does that have a breaker structure? Ooh, that's a no breaker structure demand on NAS. 
but it does make sense because we have a lot of gaps above I don't know there, there's a few things there's a few things that could potentially happen okay GU and GJ are both tapping in the zone with the next candle so I think I think I'm just gonna delete the zones there, there's no point in me keeping that it could still end up winning yeah but I, I'm gonna just delete both the zones there's no point I don't like I don't like when my demand looks like that it still could win though You see, now it's got a reaction out of GJ. Like, I don't know if I like that too much. Like, I like that there's a reaction, but I'll, I wanted the next candle to tap in. If the next candle tapped in, like, then, then it would have been better. I don't like when the one directly off the creates the zone taps in. So I think I think only NAS, actually NAS doesn't have a breakage structure, so I'll probably pass on that. Only, only US 30 at the moment, but it's also stock exchange open soon. We gotta wait and see what happens. Did you ever have? Uh, did you ever get a payout or ever had a payout? Nah, I've I've never had a payout. never had a payout yet I, I was so close in getting a payout like when i first when i was trading on the live account i was up like two percent and then this prof firm has a rule where you can only withdraw after 30 days so i traded on it for another month and now i'm in a lot of drawdown but i was up two percent when i first started if i could if i could have withdraw or withdrew in like a week i probably would have waited and then just gone the withdrawal but it's what it is yeah i think i think nas uh not nas g uh us 30 demand looks the best so i'm gonna definitely wait on us 30 but it is also open stock exchange open now Wish you the best, wish prof, uh, wish you the best, thank you, bro. Uh, wish prof firm, uh, are you with, or you, what, you are, I'm, I'm with Quantic Trading, I have a video about why I'm with them, if you want to go watch it, it's like, how I passed my challenge in, in three days, if you want to go watch that video, there's a video about it, and why I'm with, with Quantic Trading. Okay, I definitely like, I definitely like US30, we had a clean breaker structure, so I think, I think US30 looks the best at the moment. Um, right. Is it? I'm just trying to fix my magic keys real quick. Magic keys is not opening. Why? Hello? Why isn't magic keys opening? Okay, there we go. I hate when that happens. Sometimes I can I can't ever open magic keys. Uh, Nash demand ha uh, Nash demand has a one minute demand in it. I don't like the way Nasdaq one looks though. It doesn't have a breaker structure, so it's us just purely going off a of demand. But let's see, it does have a one minute demand inside of it as well. I think I'm I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave Nasdaq one. I'm gonna probably I'm I'm just gonna focus on on US thirty demand on the five minute. It doesn't have a fifty. Uh, it doesn't have a one minute inside of it. But I definitely like US study way more. It had a nice clean breaker structure. And we still gotta fill in that gap. That big gap that the CPI left. So I think I think yeah, def definitely US study. Yeah, 
it's actually on that. Can I extend that? Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna extend that to like there. I just wanna see what GJ does. We're coming down. Uh, the only thing right now is stock exchange open. That's the only thing making me question if, if I really want to take this. I'm, it's probably not smart. I don't, I don't think I'll take it before stock exchange open. Rather wait. Actually, yeah, it's about to tap. It's getting very close. But I'm not sure if I want to take it when stock exchange opens, what, 12 minutes away now? Yeah, you you uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if it ends up tapping. <laughs> I take um a. Gold with 15 lot right now with stop loss at 233. Let's pull up gold. Let's actually see what gold's doing, uh, gold's doing today. Because I, I know Doyle trades gold now. Let's just fix up the charts. I actually don't even have bad spreads on gold. Spread, uh, my spreads on gold are actually quite small. Um, I don't really see anything good that I take. Let's see, your stop loss is at 2336. 233. Oh, that means you caught the whole move up. Damn. That, that was during news as well. Pushed up during news. Nothing I would have taken, but. take this nice demand if it end up tapping the one minute and break a candle <sighs> i see what you're saying i definitely see it it's in that demand it does make a lot of sense we got this big gap to fall but still i don't know if it's really worth risking it right before stock exchange open It's definitely not worth it. It does have a one minute demand inside of it as one. It does have a one minute inside of it as well. So I don't know. I don't know. Good luck if you're gonna take it to this. I'm gonna mark up the one minute demand real quick. Actually, I'm gonna let me just do this. Like I don't really care. There's that one minute demand inside of the five minutes. I'm waiting on US thirty though. I'm waiting on US 30. Opens in nine minutes now.
I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna call this. I'm telling you now. Watch. Watch US thirty tap doing open and then win. But I don't really want to take a setup doing open. I'm calling it. It's probably gonna tap, and then go up. But I don't know if I want to risk it during stock exchange open. Everything has gone pretty slow after news. After news dropped everything. Everything has become slow. Every, everything was moving nicely like right before. Like these candles had a little bit of momentum, had a little bit of momentum. But now we're moving slow. What, five minutes until stock exchange open now? in a 15 minute demand let's look are you talking about the the same demand as the five minute yeah it's the same one i know i know which one you're talking about i think you're probably talking about this is the five minute and then there's also a 15 minute yeah it's the same candle but I was gonna get in on this on the five minute, but this candle that came and tapped in it, I don't like seeing that. I need a ca so I need the candles that create the demand, another one, and then the one after this one here comes and taps, and then I'll get in. I don't really, I don't really think it's valid when the first candle fills the gap. I, I don't like seeing that. That's why I'm just waiting now.
opens in two minutes. Check your DM bro, I'm pretty sure I was the one that replied to you Or oh, unless you're talking about Discord Nah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I replied to you already Um, Joe, uh, who's your profile? I'm using Quantic Trading I have a video about uh, me, why I'm using them And stuff like that If you want to go look at it, it's called like Wow, how I passed my problem in three days or whatever the title is. But I'm using content trading. Uh, let's see what's happening. This is this is actually open candle now. Mm. Yeah, okay, Nas does not look like it's gonna hold at all. US30 is tapping now, but I don't know if I want to take it through open. Yeah, that break your candle is huge as well, but I'd have to wait. I'd have to wait until next candle if I want to take US30. That, if, if you had to get in a break your candle, that's the break your candle would be insanely big. Prop firm name is called Quantic Trading. I have a video about it. It's called How I Passed My Challenge in Three Days or some something like that. I forgot the title. Um, but yeah, there's a video about it on my channel. It was posted like maybe a month ago. GJ looks like it created a second, yeah, it created a second demand. But <laughs> I don't want this candle now to come tap into it. If, the, if this candle is being printed right now, tap into it, I'm just going to delete it. Nas, one minute tap. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna hold. I will not lie to you. It could, but let's see. Please, GJ, don't tap that five minute demand. Please don't. If GJ doesn't actually tap, then we actually have a good demand. GJ doesn't tap, then we have a solid demand. We had a minor break of structure, a lot of gaps. The only, oh, I didn't actually see that. There's a five minute supply on GJ now as well. There's a five minute supply there. Oh, today's just looking terrible. I don't think yesterday's gonna hold at all. Never broke candle. I didn't take it. Yeah, I think I think everything might just drop. Yeah, you you said you broke out. Um, let me just just close. <sighs> okay, you said he's not valid. GJ is not valid. Feel like today's gonna be a long, 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 long day. How to spot whether a prof firm is a scam or legit? What I do is read on their website. Go look at 
at at, at YouTube reviews. Go look at uh, reviews on on like the actually how did I do it? The, the, there was a way how I checked platforms reviews. Join their Discord, um, and 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 ask a question like are they legit or are they scamming and see what people say. Um, search up reviews on like TikTok or some shit and and see, and just be careful because. If you're looking at people with like hundreds of thousands of subscribers, they could be getting paid by the platforms to tell them that they're legit. So you gotta be. You, there's a few things that you just gotta check, and just maybe maybe go for the ones that are most popular. If you, if you're gonna take like a challenge, look at FTMO, look at Funding Perps, look at uh, Fixify. I have a whole list. Let me let me open up the list. Um, let's see. Where's my prof firm list? I actually think I might have deleted it. Yeah, I think I might have deleted my prof firm list. I don't see it here. Yeah, I might I might have deleted it. But there's there's a few things that you, you need to look at. Which prof firm are you using? I'm using Quantic Trading. I have a video about it. If on my channel, it's like how I pass my challenge in three days. Just go watch that. I explain the profit I'm using. Um, everything looks terrible. I wonder what about some other pairs? Let's check like UCAD. UCAD looks terrible. AU AU is currently in a demand right now as well. Okay, A, AU is in a demand, but that is high as hell. And I think that might, yeah, I don't think that's gonna hold. Euro USD, absolutely nothing. <laughs> Today's terrible. Why? I, Today's looking horrendous. UJ, UJ has nothing. There's absolutely nothing. Not, 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 not a single thing happening. Do you think GJ going to break the supply? Uh, let's see. By the momentum that we're getting right now, I don't think so. Let me check. Oh, I honestly don't know. I, I think by the momentum we're getting right now, we're about to get break a candle as well. So I, I don't think, I, I don't know if GJ is gonna uh, break through the supply. I think the supply is probably gonna hold. Yeah, that, that supply looks like it's probably gonna hold just based off the momentum we're getting right now. Which is quite annoying. Definitely, well, that, I mean, that was probably something mid to take, but I, I don't like where it's positioned at the supply. There's no proper breaker structure. Yeah, there's no breaker structure on it as well. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm good on that supply. Yeah, I might not trade today. Market don't look good. Yeah, I'm just gonna hop on Warzone and vibe out a lot. You know what? I actually tried hopping on Warzone. When was it? I think it was on last week Friday. Oh no, it was last week Saturday. I think after work. I got back. Actually, uh, yeah, I, I went to work. Went to hit the gym after work, and then I I tried to hop on a little bit of Warzone. I played like one game of Resurgence and I closed it. I was like, hell no, I ain't playing. I used to I used to play that game so much, or well, back in like twenty twenty two. I even. Even. I'm trying to think when did I stop playing? It was twenty twenty two December. I was like playing so much Warzone, and then I eventually got fully locked in on trading and fully focused on trading. And it started getting boring playing Warzone, so I was like, nah, you know what, I might as well just leave it. But now, I barely have time to play 
video games or they're just boring as hell to play. News just make the market all crazy. Literally, it makes me move everything slow. There is a there's a counter. Is this even counter trend? There's a supply on US thirty. Is that counter trend though? Hold up. Is it not? I, I think I think we're following trend with that supply. We just have no breaker structure. Yeah, no, we we following trend on the one hour. It's also pretty low. I don't, I don't know about that supply either. The one I marked up on US thirty right down here. Yeah. We're definitely following trend. If we look on the one hour, there's the, we're below the two hundred EMA. The only thing is that there's a big gap here. That that's a risk. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that that supply. <sighs> I use gaming to help me chill, and when I'm in trades, it helps me with my anxiety. Um. I think. I think I'm almost at a point where I have no emotions in trading anymore. Like, I'm on a live 25k funded account, right? Let me just fix my chair. And I'm in this much drawdown. Like, I feel like at the beginning of the challenge, like the first trade I took, when what trade was it? I don't remember exactly what trade. I think it was probably like a nasty amount or something that ended up winning. Or G use of, I, I don't really mem remember, but the first trade I took, I definitely had a little bit of, of emotions in me. I wasn't like anxious or anything. I was just like, damn, I'm in a, I'm in a proper trade and I'm risking way more than I'm used to. And it's on my live account. Like there was, there was certainly some emotions in me, but it was, it, it wasn't bad at all. I, I was more chilled about it. I was like, ah, oh, you know what? It is what it is. And now I'm down like what? 6%. And now I'm just like, bro, it is, it is what it is at this point. And also when I was trading on the live account in Jan, I was like, is what it is. If I lose, I'm chilling. It is what it is. I'm eventually going to make that money back. So that's why, that's why I just sit and watch if my trades end up losing or not. I don't really mind too much at all now. But it has taken me a while to get here. Like at the beginning... Like when I first took my first prop firm challenge, my forex funds in when was it? It was in twenty twenty two. No, yes, yes, it was twenty twenty two. I took my first challenge, my forex funds. I still rem I remember the exact trade as well. It's been two years since I took that exact trade. So it was it was it was on GU. It was it was a demand. It was probably like the worst demand I've ever I've ever taken. It, it had no breakage structure. It was low probability. Like it just looked terrible. It was the first trade I took, and my heart was beating crazily. Like I I was actually stressing about that. But you know what? That that's when I first started. <laughs> yeah, it was my first time like actually having money on the line with trading. Like because I I bought the challenge. I bought the my forex funds challenge and I was like, oh my, I'm actually, yeah, I'm scared, but ended up losing that account, bought a second one like a month later, <laughs> lost that one as well. And I took a third one last year, but then my forex funds closed down. From then I've just been more, I was on a, I was on a personal account, small one beginning of this year. Practicing for 25k and now I'm on a 25k. Yeah. Your study supply doesn't actually look that bad at the moment as well it looks all right i guess there's just no breaker structure
Let's see, maybe, maybe we do get a tap into USD supply. That, that's probably something I'd end up taking. I'd probably take it easy. You too. You too, Brian G. I'm going to see you tomorrow if you end up coming back. I'll definitely see you tomorrow. Actually, wait, hold up. What do you think about USD JPY supply? Let me see. I, I looked at it earlier. Um, nah, I, I don't like it. The zone's way too big. I'm not gonna pull it up on MetaTrader because I'm lazy. But if if we look at yeah, this supply is that that's way too big. That's way too big to be taking a supply. I mean it still could end up winning, but Personally, I am not taking UJ. That that zone is is a bit big for me. So yeah, I'm 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 cool on that. I'm I'm definitely cool on that. This is what I'm waiting on. I actually I don't even know how I feel about this demand anymore, because I I think we're probably just gonna continue pushing down. So that's why I kind of like the supply GJ. Got nothing. GU, got nothing. Nas, we've only got the demand down here, but odds of us actually reaching it. Yeah. Maybe, I'm thinking, maybe GU ends up creating a supply. Maybe if we break this low here, we could have a high probability supply like that. But once again, that's if it breaks this high. I mean, this low down here. Breaks that. That, that would be somewhat valid to take. To fill in this rest of the news candle push, like we gotta break this low right here and then we push back up. Wait, you US thirty actually looks like it's coming for this demand. Actually, that that maybe th this could maybe be something that I end up taking. That's probably like the only valid setup that's probably gonna tap. Like, there's a fifteen minute, there's a one hour demand that's actually tapping in right now. There's a thirty minute demand like. Surely we end up taking this. Yeah, it's the only thing I see. Nas is not coming down. Nas is staying up there. Yeah, I think I think US thirty might be the play, but we gotta see. I gotta see a really really good reaction from the five minute zone. Also, I'm not taking it. And there's a one minute demand inside of it as well. So this one's a one hour demand, a 15 minute, actually a one hour, a 30 minute, a 15 minute, a five minute and a one minute. So I'm actually, I actually could be messing with US 30. The only problem is the momentum 
for us to get to the zone. There's there's literally no no stopping. We're completely bearish to get to the to get to the demand. So we wanna see how it goes. And then the one minute I need this. There's that one minute gap right there. So let's see. Let's see if we end up getting there. I'm sure I'm sure we will though. EU and GU buy. I don't see any reason why you should be buying GU at the moment. It looks like it wants to drop even more. GU looks like it's probably gonna come drop more, so I don't know why you're trying to buy, but we can let me see EU. I might as well pull it up here. Uh, EU, EU, EU. There we go. Let's see. EU buy. I don't really. Same thing on EU. I, I don't see. Damn, I have, I have zero spreads on EU. Damn. Got zero spreads on EU. I don't even have zero spreads on GU. EU, I've got absolutely zero spreads. That is, that is crazy. Okay, EU. Also, let's check the high time frame. Also, not really a reason to to be buying. But if you see something different, go for it, bro. Maybe if we get like a good bullish candle to the upside to fill in these four hour gaps, but we haven't gotten that really early. There's also a four hour liquidity grab. Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe buying on like a higher time frame, but definitely not in the five minute. Mm. Oh, I'm hoping US steady comes. That's that's my like that's like my last hope, US steady. Everything's so slow. Everything's very, very, very slow. I think maybe maybe GJ ends up having something. 
Actually, I'm probably speaking way too soon to be saying GJ could have something. If it breaks the high, then I'll then I'll, then I'll probably say. Yeah, we just gotta be patient. We've got what, like an hour left of trading, then I'm closing the charts. So if we don't get anything, then just another no trade day, which I'm pretty used to. actually so boring Tra trading is actually so boring i think i think gu g is about to be valid if we're getting really close to breaking that low so we break that low right there gu supply is valid i wonder i wonder if it has a one minute see trading view so it is actually a one minute on on gu as well but that's all the way at the top of the zone and look at the momentum even the one minute candlesticks have zero momentum so if gu breaks this low then i guess we might have something GJ, nothing on GJ. There's a GU demand lower. Yeah, I know. Oh, and it's one minute. Are you talking about this? I don't like that. The, the five minute zone's way too big. If you're talking about this, I, I ain't messing with that. I'm definitely passing up on on GU though. Yeah, I see the one minute probably around about there. But GU zone is way, way, way too big. That is way too big for me to be taking. I'm, I'm, I'm cool on that. The supply I take into the demand. That that makes sense to me. But taking the demand just makes zero sense. It's too big. I'm waiting on US study. US study looks probably the best at the moment. But if US study loses. I don't even know what to say. Is U US thirty's got all the confluences at the moment? Maybe the the only thing is that we are bearish, and <laughs> that, that that's like the only problem with US thirty at the moment. But we got this big gap on the one hour and on the four hour, so we have a big gap that needs to be filled. We got a one hour demand. Doesn't look the greatest though. We got a one hour demand there. We go to the 30 minute, we have a 30 minute demand there. We go to the 15 minute, we have a 15 minute demand there. We go to the five minute, we got a five minute demand there. We go to the one minute and we got a one minute demand there. US study has all confluence, it, it literally has everything. So GU did break the low now. It might tap the demand before it taps the supply. But I'm I'm definitely passing up on the demand. I, I don't like zones when they're too big like like US study. I mean like GU is. We could definitely watch and, and see if it plays out, but I'm not taking it. Not 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 worth it.
I wonder if Doyle... Doyle took something actually. What did he take? Shit. Yeah. Doyle, oh, I think it might have been... Nah, oh, I see, I see. No. No, that's not right. Actually, no, yeah, it is. I'm tripping, I swear. I think I think Doyle took Nas demand before open. Okay, wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna definitely pull up on on trading view. Cause let's see. Okay, go to Nas. I think Doyle. Let's hit replay. Doyle. Okay, let's hit replay again. Yeah, okay, Doyle had this marked up by the looks of it. He had that marked up. And I think he got in a break of candle. I swear this did not look like it. Was that GU? Oh, my bad. My bad, my bad. Doyle didn't take, he took GU. My bad, okay, wait. Yeah, he took, okay, okay, my bad. Doyle took GU demand. Let's go back. Okay, so he took this. I'm gonna mark it up right now. So he did this. He had this marked up like that. So Doyle had that. It gave break a candle or break a structure, sorry. And then this next candle came and tapped in and rejected up. And he got in by the looks of it. I think he got in right there at break of the candle. And he had stops below and he looked for a one to one. Yeah, okay, so th this is what Doyle this is what Doyle took. He took a loss. Let's see what he says. But when I look at my whole watch list, it was no way I was going to win a trade unless I took that gold trade that was early in the day. It happened around like seven forty. But I wanted to wait past news because we had news at eight thirty, so I waited. And um after news, gold didn't do anything. Nasdaq still haven't done nothing. This is three weeks in a row. Nasdaq haven't thrown anything clean. And then I took GU, and GU was a high demand setup. The entry was a little bit weird, but uh, ended up losing. And I'm actually okay with this loss because nothing on my watch list was worth taking. I don't know. Do Doyle speaking facts. Everything is looking terrible, especially Nas. Past three weeks, Nas has been Nas has been terrible. Um, GU buy now. I'm going long for a while. Stop below sell side liquidity. Right, I see you taking the demand. I see. Um, good luck on it. I'm I'm passing up on that. I'm I'm good. EU the same. Right, I see. So Doyle took GU demand, which is quite interesting. He took the demand up there. Quite interesting. I mean, it it is valid. I just don't like demands where we create the demand and the next candle comes and taps and then you get it. I, I don't like demands like that, so I passed up on it. And. Let's see now. I think US30 might be the one. Let's see. We're about to... We're getting very close to tapping. Uh, let's see. GU is also in a demand now, but it looks terrible. Let's, let's, see, what, let's see what US30 does. Let's see. Let's see. I'm looking for GU break of candle. Yeah, I'm good on this. I'm good on GU. I'm chilling. So I'm, I think I'm gonna take take US thirty off of the one minute because uh, there's a one minute demand and i'd rather take it off the one minute than the five minutes just because we go for a one or two rr so let's see let's see if you're steady under holding um, 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 um. let's see okay i'm gonna mark up gu demand just so we can watch it right there it's pretty sure yeah, it's got a 15 actually the 15 minute actually looks pretty good on on 
GU, but I'm I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm waiting on I'm waiting on the US thirty demand. The fifteen minute actually looks pretty solid. If we get like a little bit of a reaction from the zone, then break a candle on the fifteen minute looks pretty good. GJ GJ actually if you took that supply you would have been winning but no breaker structure. Pretty okay setup. And then we got US 30. Let's see. Let's see if we end up holding or not. Yeah, I think I think GU is just gonna keep going down. Everything lines up with this. The only thing is that we're just bearish overall. Four hours bearish. Everything, everything is bearish. One hour is bearish, but one hour we got a demand, plus a big gap. Thirty minute demand plus a big gap. Same thing on the fifteen minutes, five minutes. Let's see. AUD USD demand. I don't trade AU, but I'll definitely have a look at it. No, uh, AU is the same thing as as um, US thirty. It looks pretty much identical to US thirty, somewhat. Okay, let's see now. We tapped the one minute, I believe. No, we haven't tapped the one minute demand yet, so we still gotta wait a bit and see if we can break a candle or not. This big candle here is a very got a lot of momentum in it, so that, that is a bit um not great. <clears throat> Five minutes, definitely. Uh, I wouldn't say it's really a reaction. Hmm. Okay, we're in the one minute now. Yeah, I don't think the zone's gonna end up holding, I will not lie. Or maybe, maybe. Let's see if we end up getting in a break. I'm not gonna get in that that break of candles a bit big. I'm definitely gonna wait for like this candle to get broken to if I even want to enter. Because I think entering off of this break of candle then our stop is what 30 pips. I'm I'm cool on that. Definitely cool on that. I don't want a 30 pip stop loss. Yeah, it's even bigger. It's what it would be like a 37 pip stop loss if I enter on that breaker candle on the bigger one. Um, or I just end up entering off the five minutes. Yeah, actually, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's gonna end up even holding. This won't validate. Yeah, I think, I think I agree with you. Like just looking at all the volume coming into this, yeah, I doubt we're gonna hold. Yeah, same with GU. Also, doubt GU is gonna hold on the demand, and that demand is hideous. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm I'm cool on I'm I'm cool on that. I'm gonna just take that away. I'm I'm cool on that. Definitely cool on that. 
The odds he gets a, re a reaction at like the end of the zone. Nah, okay. It, lo it looks like it's probably gonna break out now. One minute actually looks like it's about to give break a candle, but I think I'm gonna pause. That looks like just a pure fake out if it gives break a candle. Like if the one minute actually gives break a candle, that's just a fake out happening. Let's see. I'm just kidding. Uh, let's see, 10 seconds till the next five minute candle. Let's see. That's actually a solid push. Um, how do I calculate my lot size on US30? I, I don't know, bro. Uh, I use I use magic keys. It calculates the lot size for me. So I, I don't really worry about my, I don't worry about my, my risk or calculating it. Magic keys does all for me. US30 gave break a candle on the one minute right there. But I, th I think I'm cool. I think I'm a pass on this setup. We all the way at the bottom of the zone. I don't know if this is gonna end up even holding. <clears throat> uh, vintage wine. Hello, boat. How are you doing? Yeah, that <laughs> that was just a plain ass fake. I called it. That was just a plain ass fake out. So, break a candle. I feel sorry for anyone who would have entered on this. So, break a candle. You would have entered right there. You probably would have had your stops below the zone, and you would have went for your one to two. But you just got break a candle on the one minute and instant fake out. Yeah, nah. I'm definitely cool. I'm I'm cool. Let, let's see. Um, let's see. If we if we get anything else on the day. NASA is dropping. Let's see. Maybe there's like a supply or something that we can end up taking. Let's just put that away. No. GU you get break a candle? Yeah, I see that. But I think I'm I'm cool on on GU. I'm I'm cool. I don't like the way that Amon looks. Nobody trades the one minute. Bro, I know a lot of people who trade the one minute. Like, if you join our Discord, there is a bunch of people who trade the one minute. Especially, like, there's a few people, like, if you just go into chat, there's people who only trade the one minute. Like, there's, there's, there's Loan, there's Joel, there's, bro, there's a bunch of people who trade the one minute. Um, hey, man, uh, which platform is this? You using I'm using Quantic Trading. I, I have a video about why I use them. This is called like how I pass my challenge in three days. Just go watch that video. I explain why I'm using Quantic Trading. So, but the, but the platform I'm using is called Quantic Trading. But I would not recommend. Actually, I should probably should have said this sooner. I would not re recommend them at the moment right now apparently they don't pay out and i'm not too sure how accurate that is but there's a lot of people complaining online that they don't pay out and i didn't know that until after i 
I purchased. Just approach the one hour demand on what? On GU? Oh yeah, GU's got a one hour demand there with like a minor breaker structure. Let's see how it holds. Well, let's see how it plays out. I, I don't think that it's gonna end up holding though. NAS also looks like it could come down for the gap. Good luck. Thank you, bro. I'm, I'm not really in anything at the moment, but thank you. Let's see. I think that there, there might be... Mm. I'd rather wait for break a candle. I mean, not break a candle, break a structure. Mm. US thirty might actually be throwing a liquidity grab. Low key, this 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 is valid, right? Actually, let's use the line. This, this is valid if anyone's gonna get in on that. Next candle's in ten seconds, so you get in a break a candle on this. But I think I think I'm cool. I think I'm cool on that. Let's see, let's actually, let's see if we can break a candle or not. It's valid at the moment. I don't think I don't think the liquidity grab's gonna hold. <laughs> nah, that, we ain't getting baby cam on the liquidity grab. <laughs> that, that's just dropping now. Same thing with Nas. I still have Nas demand marked up. Let's see. That that could maybe be something, but I think that might also just break through the same as the same as US study, and. By the looks of it, GU gave a fake out if you took the five minute demand, which looked terrible. I'm gonna just delete this supply. Okay. GU gave a fake out if you got in. I'm gonna put up on, I'm gonna show trading view just so it looks, it looks better. But if you do that, you would have gotten a break candle, stops below, actually a little bit higher. You would have been faked out on GU if you took that. So yeah, that, that's why I was definitely not looking at GU. It made zero sense. The zones are way too big. Let's just delete that. Um, Maybe, maybe it gives like a re-entry or some shit. Maybe it gives like a re-entry. Nas coming down as well, filling in all the gaps. Okay, I see something maybe, but I don't think it's even gonna reach. So there's, a, there's a supply right here, and this is in confluence with the supply here. So this could be something on, on GJ and we just got break a structure right there. We broke that little minor low. So it could potentially be something, but I don't think it's gonna end up reaching the zone. That's also got a one minute supply inside of it as well, but I won't mark that up for now. I'll just leave it the way it is. And then let's go back. Yeah.
Sunny and GU actually might give a re-entry, but I ain't, I ain't getting any from that. Let's see, next candle is in, what, two minutes? Actually, a minute. A minute and ten seconds till next candle. I'm close to getting stopped out. Let's see. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't think GU is gonna hold the demand. Let's see. Next, next candles in thirty seconds. We got another forty minutes before I close charts. Let's see if we end up getting something or not. That's loud. <clears throat> yeah, I think I think G is done for. I think G is done for now. G is not holding on that demand. Yeah. The last hope would maybe be GJ if it comes back to that supply. But other than that, I don't think anything else, got, else is going to hold today. use pushing up let's see let's see let's see it's got a little bit of a push let's actually check my other pairs let's check uh ucad oh ucad's got nothing uj got nothing au au's in the demand right now we can i'll bring that up au's in the demand that we had He's in a demand there. It looks it looked the same one as as US thirty, somewhat the same. But it didn't US thirty didn't end up holding. This could hold, maybe. Break a candle would be right there. Stops below and you'd look for a one to one. That could be something, but I don't trade AU. expect NAS to maybe come back down to fill in that gap and tap the demand but it does not look like it wants to NAS just looks like it's gonna leave us or just never come back down never come back down to to the the demand or maybe not during our session It'll eventually come back down, but not not during our session. All the time we trade.
Yeah, G G is gonna definitely break that zone. Who who was the guy that took it? No idea how to say his name, but yeah, he lo he looks like he's gonna get that stopped out. Maria's lost but manual. Yeah, pretty yeah, manual. Yeah, bro. It looks like looks like your body gets stopped out. Well, it depends. It depends where you had your stop loss. You said uh, I'm close to getting stopped out. So I don't know where you'd have your stop loss, but yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna end up holding. Nothing looks good. I'm in this trade. Which trade? Which trade you in, bro? Lucy, Lucy Baba. <laughs> what trade are you in? If it's GU, I feel sorry for you because I don't think GU is gonna hold it. But if you're in something else, what are you in? Profit? What do you what do you mean? Lucy Baba, what do you what do you mean profit? Um where did you say my stop is at one two five two two five two is here yeah, and then fifty eight that's higher no it's lower fifty eight okay his stop loss is like right below the zone or almost breaking out the zone like right somewhere around about there it looks like it could come down. He will continue pushing down. It looks like it is. There's literally, there's not been a single bullish candle. There's been what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's been eight bearish candles so far. There's not been a single bullish candle. That just, that that kind of gives you a clear indication that it's not gonna hold. We got another what 34 minutes of trading let's see let's see if anything else happens i doubt though i don't think anything's gonna happen it's starting to get cold where i live like damn it's actually getting cold Lowered my risk and entered on the US thirty supply plus one minute. Oh, okay. I know. I know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about this one, this one here. I was looking at it, but then the next candle. So we created it, and then the next candle after that tapped right in. So I was like, is what it is. Okay. I mean, the one minute actually looks pretty solid. The one minute on the setup actually looks pretty solid. If you take them, yeah, we had we had three. What is that? Four good, five, four good reactions or rejections. I think I think this is a solid setup, bro. Rocco, Rocco, I think we probably this probably looks good. Kevin on the charts, have you taken? Oh, you taken anything? Nah, I have not taken anything today. Most of my zones, well, pretty much all my zones have been invalidated. Yeah, GU is done for. G GU, let's let just let's, let's delete that. Let's delete that. Yeah, but all my zones have been invalidated. But Rocco, you actually might be good. I I think that this is this is quite a solid trade, especially off the one minute. The one minute that was your zone. That that's actually looking pretty solid. Let's actually see. What what's your what R R are you going for on it? I mean, I think it might have actually already hit one to two, depending what you, where you entered. Yeah, if you entered, if you entered at the original break it candle entry, I think you're already past one to two. Wait, let's, let's see. That stops there. I think I think you're already at one to two. Or oh, almost oh no, nah, you you already hit one to two. Damn, bro. Rocco, it depends where you entered, I guess. I mean, maybe you entered somewhere there, but if you got original break it candle injury stops a little bit above like that, you were you already here one or two now. Of what like 47 pips? Damn. Um 
Gold had a great demand on the one minute. One or two almost there. Okay, I mean, it already hit one or two. If, if you got the perfect entry and had your stops like there. It already hit one or two. Uh, gold had a great demand on the one minute. Let's check gold. Let's see. Let's see gold. On the one minute, you said? Let's see. Um, one minute on gold. Maybe, I think maybe you're talking about that up there. Is that what you're talking about on the one minute? It was, yeah, Kevin on charts. Is that what you're talking about? Other than that, it does not look like anything else held. That's the only high probability one minute of one to see. Yeah, I, th I think, Rocco, you chilling. You're about to actually hit one or two. Well, it depends once again. But yeah, look, it looks like it's probably going to continue down. I would have I would have looked at taking this, but this green candle tapped in. If this candle, the green candle didn't tap in and then tap this red candle tapped in, I would have gone there. Uh, yeah, okay, I, I see. That probably went for like a one or two if you got an upper candle. Solid. Solid though, solid. Very, very, very solid. Let's see. Anything else? Nope. Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just wait for another 20 minutes and then I'm closing the charts. I've made it a rule in my trading plan. I have to sit until the end of my session every single day. In my it's in my trading plan. I have to sit till the end, no matter what, every single day. Whether I take a loss, unless I have something really important to do, then then it's fine. But every single day, I have to sit and wait till the complete end. Yeah, yeah, you, you, what you said, yeah, break the zone now. Today I'm out, yeah. <sighs> AU demand. I looked at AU demand, I, I, I had it marked up. I, I think you guys saw, I was looking at it. it yeah, it's here. Oh shit, let me stop recording, my bad. Uh, there's AU demand, but I, I'm, I'm cool on it. I, I don't trade AU. We got that right there. But I don't know, candles close inside the zone. Uh, to me, it doesn't really matter how the candles close, even if it's inside, but it does not look like it's gonna hold. Are um, you? Definitely not. Let's see, NAS is randomly pushing up right now. Imagine NAS creates something. Imagine it breaks above this high here and this demands value that we get tapped in in the next 30 minutes. That's only valid if we break above this high though. So I'm just marking that up. Rocco, if you're in chat, did you get your one to two on on US thirty or nah? Yeah, new, news ruined today. Is what it is. There's news again tomorrow. I'm hoping we can get it set up quite early to actually. I don't even know, even know if I'm gonna be able to trade early. We definitely gotta wait and see. Hopefully we can get a set up tomorrow. Like, I didn't take a trade, what was Monday? I think Monday was just a no trade day. Yeah, I think Monday was just a no trade day. And then I closed the charts, if I remember correctly. Tuesday was a loss. Wednesday I don't trade. Thursday's looking like a no trade day. And then we only got tomorrow. Like supply and demand just has not been hitting. 
You said um, Nas hit one out of mod. Yeah, it looks like it's re uh, rejecting or reacting off that one out of mod. Makes sense though. I wish it maybe came down a little bit. Tap the one minute, uh, the five minute demand. Actually, it was quite far. It was like 30, 36 pips. Not yet. I was a few points away, but yeah, if it comes back, I'll probably close. I mean, it still looks like it has the potential to, to drop. But I, I don't know. Uh, US 30 and NAS move the same. That's why I try and be careful. Because if, if NAS is doing one thing, going up, and then usually US 30 would also go up. Let's see, GU is grabbing liquidity. GU's got a valid liquidity grab at the moment. I just want to see what's AU doing. AU. AU still in that demand, has not given break a candle yet. Okay, this is the next candle. Let's see. I think G, G liquidity grab actually looks. Oh no, G liquidity grab not even valid. <laughs> My bad. It is valid on MetaTrader, not trading view. Okay, so never mind. Let's see what. Yeah, no. I don't know. I don't think anything else is gonna happen. Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna end stream here. There's no point in me sitting and waiting. Today's just a no trade day. I'm hungry as hell. I haven't eaten all day as well. So I'm, I'm gonna go make food now. I don't think anything's gonna happen today at all. Well, we got what, like 20, 20 minutes, 20 odd minutes until I close the shots. And this is what we look like. Like, like, NAS price action looks terrible. Like, th this is a terrible price action. GU, terrible price action. I mean, before news was okay, it had this demand that ended up winning. Like, that, that, that ended up winning before news. But after news, terrible price action. GJ, even worse price action. I mean, it had the supply here, but you know, once again, not the greatest supply. US 30. I might even drop US30, honestly. The way US30 looks is actually terrible. Sometimes US30 looks even worse than this. So I'm, that might even be a pair drop and then just keep three pairs. And if I look at all the losses on the accounts, on this 25k account, most... Well, if I look at the trades that I took on US30, they were all losers. So I might... That might be a reason to drop US30. But I think... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to end stream here, everyone. I'm going to see you guys tomorrow, same time as today, and I'm hoping we get a setup tomorrow, because sitting and waiting like this all day is not fun. It's definitely not fun, especially when price action looks like this. When price action looks as bad as this, it's not great. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to close the charts today, call it a day. I'm gonna go make food now. Yeah. I'm out of run. I'm not I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see. Wait, wait, let me let me just I just wanna see AU. Nah, AU ain't even giving break a candle. Yeah, okay, I am closing the shots now. I don't know what I'm doing. Staying here and sitting and waiting, doing nothing. Alright everyone.